Hello everybody, I'm Starry Medic, and welcome back to another seminar. So this is the second video in my Medical School Spotlight series where I sum up information about all 40 medical schools in the UK. I asked my Instagram stories and most people said they wanted to do this location for today. So this week we're going to be focusing on East and South East England, which includes Cambridge, Oxford, East Anglia, Buckingham, Anglia Ruskin and Kent and Medway. I want to jump straight into this, so if you want to see the intro about this whole series, please check out my London Medical Schools one up here, it's where I fully explain everything about how this series is going to work. But briefly, I'll be covering eight categories of information for a regular UK student. A little disclaimer here, all research was done by me personally, and all information is true to the best of my knowledge and today's date, which is the 15th of April 2020. I did make some tiny mistakes in my last video, I am only human, but if you spot any mistakes, here please do let me know down below again I have my laptop right here so I'll keep looking down but everything will be displayed on screen for you so you can easily follow up with what I'm saying so grab your pen and paper your favorite hot drink and let's go so starting off with Cambridge Cambridge do offer both an undergraduate and a graduate entry program the length of study for the undergraduate program is six years because you have an intercalation between years four and five and it's four years for the graduate entry program so the entrance exam they're looking for for the undergraduate program is the BMAT and they are not looking for any entrance exams for the graduate entry programme. So their interview is based on a traditional format, which is more of a panel interview, but it does depend slightly on the college, they do vary. So for entry requirements, the undergraduate programme, they're looking for A star, A star, A in chemistry and in either biology, physics or maths. Graduates can also apply to the undergraduate program and if you're a graduate applying for the undergraduate program you would need a 2-1 degree in any discipline along with passes at A-level. If you are applying for the graduate entry program they require a 2-1 degree in any discipline, passes at A-level and they said that most successful applicants typically have at least AAA. Their class size for the undergraduate program is 281. Clinical contact for the undergraduate begins in year 4 and for the graduate you it hasn't really specified, it's just at level 1, which is year 1 and 2, so sometime in there. And the student satisfaction score for Cambridge is 3.77 out of 5. Moving on, we've got Oxford. So again, Oxford offers both the undergraduate and the graduate entry programme. So at Oxford, you spend the first three years getting a BA in medical sciences before finally studying medicine. So therefore, it is a six year long course for undergraduates and five if you're a graduate applying for the undergraduate course and the graduate entry program is four years long. For both of them, the entrance exam, they're looking for the BMAT. For interview, again, very similarly to Cambridge, they use a traditional format that varies based on the college. So make sure you do your research on that and find out what college you want to go to. So entry requirements for Oxford undergraduate, they're looking for A star AA in chemistry, plus either biology, physics, maths, or further maths. They're not looking for any formal GCSEs requirements, looking for Cs or fours if you didn't do biology, physics or maths at A-level. And the entry requirements for the graduates is a 2-1 in any experimental science degree along with two science A-levels. They have a whole list on their website of what counts as an experimental science degree. So the class size at Oxford for undergraduate is 154 and for the graduate it's around 30. The clinical contact in undergraduates begin in year 3 because like I said you do the BA first and in graduate entry it's year 1. And the student satisfaction score for Oxford is 4.42. Moving on next we've got Norwich Medical School at UEA, University of East Anglia. So they only offer the undergraduate program but graduates can apply to it. So it's a 5 year course, 6 if you want to intercalate after year 3 or year 4. The entrance exam they're looking for is the UCAT. The interview style they use is MMI. Entry requirements they're looking for AAA with biology or chemistry. GCSEs they're looking for A or 7s including maths. Two single sciences so biology, chemistry, physics or double science. B or 6 in English language. So for graduates they're looking for 2-1 in any subject plus BBB or ABC at A level including biology or chemistry. As well as your GCSEs you have to have 6 Bs or 6s in maths, English language and 2 sciences. Class size at Norwich is 208. Clinical contact begins the first month of year 1 and the student satisfaction score for the university is 4.34 out of 5. Next we've got the University of Buckingham. Now they only started back in 2015 and they're actually the first private medical school in the UK. Here I'd like to offer you guys the note 
that to study at this university it does cost £37,500 a year because they are not funded by the government. Buckingham only offers an undergraduate program, again grads can apply to it. They offer a very unique program of four and a half years so you start in January instead of September. So you do a five year course compressed down into 4.5 years. They don't require any entrance exams, they do an MMI for interview. Entry requirements they're looking for A, B, B at A level with biology or chemistry, GCSE, English grade C. For graduates they're looking for a 2-1 in similar to medicine degree. Their class sizes are pretty small, they've got 65 and that was back in 2015 and that was the best I could find so I'm guessing it might have increased slightly by now but it will be around that number. And clinical contact starts in year one. The student satisfaction score for Buckingham is 4.24 out of 5. And next we've got Angela Ruskin. Angela Ruskin again is a very new medical school, they started in 2018. They only offer the undergraduate program but grads can apply to it. The length of study is 5 years. The entrance exam they're looking for is the UCAT and they're looking to do MMI at interview. Entry requirements at Angela Ruskin they're looking for AAA in chemistry or biology plus a biology or chemistry, maths or physics. GCSEs, they're looking for five GCSEs at A to C, so nine to four, including English language, maths and two sciences. Graduates, they're looking for a 2-1 in biological, chemistry or health sciences subject, plus the GCSE requirements. The class size at Angler Ruskin is 100 and clinical contact starts in year one. The student satisfaction score for Angler Ruskin is 4.08 out of 5. And then next we've got Kent and Medway Medical School. This is by far the newest medical school on this whole list. They actually start their cohort this year, so this September 2020 is when they will take on their first load of students. It is a collaboration between the University of Kent and Canterbury Christchurch. University. Again, they only offer the undergraduate program, but graduates can apply. The length of study is five years. They're looking for the UCAT at entrance exam and interview. They do MMI. Entry requirements, they're looking for AAB, chemistry or biology, plus chemistry, biology, maths, psychology, physics or computing. GCSEs, they want five GCSEs at A star to B, so nine to six in English language, maths, biology, chemistry, physics or double science. Graduates, they're looking for a 2-1 in a biology or a biosciences related subject degree. So here's where I want to note that Ken and Medway don't take on predictive grades. So for example, if you're a graduate hoping to apply to this program, if you haven't finished your degree yet, they'll actually take your next lowest qualification, which for most people would be A-levels, just to let you know. Their class size at Kent is roughly around 100. Clinical contact starts in year one. Since it is a brand new medical school, they don't have any student satisfaction scores yet, but I do have the scores for both Kent and Canterbury individually and they both happen to be 3.99 out of 5. An extra side note is that because they are brand new they are actually following Brighton and Sussex Medical School's curriculum. So if you didn't see on Tuesday I announced the outcome of my medicine application for this year and I also announced that I'll be making two videos a week from now on on Tuesdays and Fridays. So next Tuesday's video will be quite a special one. I'm hoping it'll lift some spirits in these current times. So please make sure you subscribe and come back for that. If you've enjoyed following along on this video with me then please give this video a thumbs up and let me know what location I should do next for these medical school spotlights by commenting down below or you can message me on Instagram at StarryAdMedic. Now I need to go make some tea because my throat feels really dry so I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys!